it's so sad, you know, that my son had to go through that. When Evelyn Rivera's eight-year-old son complained about a throbbing earache, she took him to the doctor for a checkup. The doctor determined her son's ear was swollen, but she says what she discovered next was what hurt the most. Oh my God, I, I was in shock. I was, oh my God, and my kid's like, yes, mom, he's not, t he's not lying to you because they were in the room with me. And, and I'm like, oh my God, let me go straight to the school. Rivera went to school administrators at Frank Roberts Elementary School in San Benito demanding answers. She met with administrators and the teacher teacher in question, but says the teacher showed no remorse for his alleged actions. Rivera claims the teacher took her son and another third grader by the ear from where they were sitting on the floor and pulled them to a standing position because they were whispering. To me, um, a teacher's job is to teach them, learn, not to be mistreating them, even if they were to misbehave or whatever matter, you know. Treat, they, as they say, treat others as the way you want to be respected, you know. Action 4 went to the school district for answers, but they only issued the statement. It says a teacher from Frank Roberts Elementary returned to work after being placed on administrative leave with pay after school officials conducted an internal investigation. The investigation was launched after allegations surfaced against the teacher in question. The incident involves a personnel matter, therefore the district cannot disclose any other details at this time. But Rivera says this disciplinary action is not enough for the teacher, especially since she claims there's been more student victims that have had their hair and arms pulled by the teacher. He should be fired, you know, for what I've heard. He's done this since last year. And a lot of people, parents tell me that he's always had like an attitude problem.